Now your first alert forecast with Steve Cannon. Earlier in the newscast, we spent time on I-15. Let's go to I-84 and I-86. This is Glens Ferry, and it's a nice day in Glens Ferry. Let's go east a little bit to the Arvin Valley exit on I-86. Look at that cloud-free sky, my goodness. As we speak, it's still 79 degrees in Pocatello. We do have a bit of a breeze in and around the neighborhood, like 15 miles an hour, but 15 miles an hour as well in Rexburg, 17 mile an hour winds in Jackson, a little breezy in Montpelier and Soda Springs. And as you go through the Lost River Valley, how about 19 miles an hour in Arco, 15 miles an hour in Mackey. So, uh, and Salmon's got us all beat, 20 plus mile an hour winds. So, what are we expecting? Showers, well, there's a little bit down here in the southern portion of the Magic Valley, but we're also picking up a little shower activity moving into the higher elevations of eastern Idaho. Now, we're going to zoom in a little bit and show you that the showers that were in Island Park have pretty well dissipated, but we still have some on the north end of the Tetons, and we are expecting more. This low pressure system, this trough is going to slide into our area as we get into Thursday. That's going to bring us some cool temperatures. And as that trough continues to sag, look at this moisture all the way from Tropical Storm Amanda. Amanda was a hurricane, uh, category two hurricane yesterday. And see all those clouds? See where they're moving? Uh huh. Guess what's coming this weekend? Not tomorrow, well, maybe tomorrow, a little bit tonight in the higher elevations, you've seen it vanish. But tomorrow, no, not so much to tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Not so much tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Friday, mm-hmm. No, not so much Friday morning. Friday afternoon and evening, however, we pick up a little in the Central Mountains and then along the Continental Divide. Let's go to Saturday. Uh-huh. Here comes the low pressure system. Here comes that tropical moisture up out of the south. So Saturday, Sunday, yeah, this is the thunderstorm forecast, and you can just see that plume of moisture get ever so closer to our area. But it's not coming tonight. A fair to partly cloudy night tonight. It's going to cool off to Stanley at 27 degrees. We'll see upper 30s, low 40s elsewhere. And then after 80s today, we're only going to see 63 in Stanley and low 70s elsewhere for the Central Mountains. Southern portions of the Snake River Plain still in the 40s tonight. We had 50s last night and highs tomorrow about 10 degrees shy of those we had today. Won't be as windy, and we do expect mostly fair skies. 40s tonight for the upper Snake River Valley. Highs tomorrow in the low 70s, and that's just about normal for this time of year. Yeah, we've been spoiled over the last couple of days, haven't we? In the higher elevations, 34 in West Yellowstone, 38 in Island Park in Jackson. A high temperature tomorrow, 70. It'll be almost as warm in West Yellowstone and Jackson as it is in Idaho Falls in Rexburg. In the southeastern corner of the state, 40s tonight, that's low to mid 40s. And then a high tomorrow under that fair to partly cloudy sky in the 70s. Check it out. Pinedale and Afton are forecast to be warmer than Idaho Falls and Pocatello. So, what about that long range outlook? Well, showers start streaming into the neighborhood by Friday afternoon and continue basically all the way through next Wednesday. We are going to see a bit of a warm up as we get into Saturday. Then we'll drop back into the 70s for highs in the southern Snake River Plain. Another breezy day tomorrow, 10, 15 mile an hour winds, a warm up on Friday and Saturday, and then that chance of shower starts up and goes basically through the middle of next week. For the upper Snake River Valley, 80s for Friday and Saturday for Idaho Falls, but that's when the showers start as well, Friday and Saturday. And as you look down the road a piece, yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it looked to be a fairly showery. Look at that, 39% chance of showers in Rexburg. How's that for getting specific for you? Jackson looks to be a cloudy and showery day. But there again, temperatures in Jackson are going to be very closer to some of the valley temperatures, at least for tomorrow. Now, our very own Tyler Berg got down the road a piece a little bit and found this beautiful shot of the South Fork in Swan Valley. Was kind enough to send it our way for the spirit of Idaho. Thank you, Tyler, for showing off just how pretty our part of the countryside is. And if you've got a similar photograph, I'd love to see it. So would everybody 